The community continues to come out to celebrate those who have served. Thank you to all our veterans. And with the help of that grant, tabling and signs just like this one right here, they have grown their participation from 6 to 26. And now they have a current goal of reaching 75 participants and to erase the stigma. Although 1 a.m. lines and fights inside the store aren't around as much anymore, it looks like Black Friday isn't dead just yet. Despite concerns from both current and prospective students, the CSU tuition is still set to increase starting in the fall of 2024. Now, on to this. A 6.3 earthquake struck Afghanistan on Sunday, making it the fourth quake of that magnitude to hit the country this week. From an empty lot to San Fernando's biggest food hall, LA Chef's Kitchen is bringing big changes to this community. Long lines, crowded stores, and hundreds of holiday shoppers filled the Glendale Galleria for this year's Black Friday sales. This year it's popping. <laughs> Shopper Priscilla Fabian, like many others, came in hopes of finding the best deals. But how does this year's Black Friday hold up compared to years in the past? I don't think the sales are as good as they used to be. Um, you know, I came and they're only 30% off. I'm expecting like 50, 60, I don't know. <laughs> Remember when I was little, I would always see like new segments of people getting like trampled or like lining up outside at like 2 a.m. But I feel like you just like don't see that anymore. I just, I don't know if we've like lost that or if just the sales aren't good enough for us to be doing that anymore. I don't know. With some customers not enjoying the deals anymore, there might be questions on what the future of Black Friday looks like. But according to JCPenney manager Brett Wooliver, the shopping holiday is here to stay. Black Friday is just the hallmark part of the holiday and the kickoff of the season, and all retailers always go big with marketing and incentives. So I think it will always be a, a big day in retail, no matter what's going on. And from the financial perspective, retail experts say consumers are still planning to spend big this holiday season. They're definitely planning to open up their wallets and spend at levels similar to pre-pandemic years. Um, so actually a 5% increase from prior year. Although 1 a.m. lines and fights inside the store aren't around as much anymore, it looks like Black Friday isn't dead just yet. Reporting from Glendale, California, I'm Leah Vialpando, Valley View News. Everybody ready? Uh -huh. ready. The San Fernando Valley's largest food hall has opened its doors, marking the beginning of a new cultural food center in Panorama City. The building manager says the developer believes the area is filled with potential. He found uh, that this would be a great area to invest in because this building used to be the old abandoned LADWP building. And since we already have an existing food hall in downtown, why don't we bring that idea to here in the valley since it's there's not really that much of a culinary scene in the valley. The hall, named LA Chef's Kitchen, will be home to 16 stalls, and amongst those are vendors that sell Greek food, Filipino food, and alas frescas, bringing opportunities for local food businesses and several culinary choices to the local community. From an empty lot to San Fernando's biggest food hall, LA Chef's Kitchen is bringing big changes to this community. By changing the building, it's cleaner. Aldi came, other stores came, and because of that, prices rise, rent rises, and there's more movement of people. But I like it. While some Panorama City residents are happy to see the changes, others fear they'll come with rent hikes. Eddie Gonzalez is the owner of Taquito y Mas and the Pacoima Chamber of Commerce president. He welcomes these changes and encourages residents to do the same. Don't be afraid of change. Obviously, change can be scary for some people, but improvement, if you improve your community and make it look nicer and better, I don't see anything wrong with that. The city of LA says the purpose of the food hall is to revamp the area. Reporting from Panorama City, I'm Leah Vialpando, Valley View News. Assisting over 38,000 families in the San Fernando Valley and millions nationwide, the Women, Infant and Children program has found an exclusive home at CSUN, making it the only WIC site on a U.S. college campus. There are many of our students, staff, faculty that may not know about WIC and what WIC has to offer and our staff and students um, that work in the center are here to let everyone know that they may be eligible for these great services and it is a wonderful program. While the site may appear empty today, a recent grant of over $330,000 is driving an outreach project to highlight the program. And with the help of that grant, tabling and signs just like this one right here, they have grown their participation from 6 to 26 and now they have a current goal of reaching 75 participants and to erase the stigma. 
I'm gonna be honest, they have guys coming up to the table, like, what is a wig? I'm like, oh, you really wouldn't know? And that's why I said I bumped into a father, I bumped into a pregnant lady came up, you know, a student came up, and I'm like, they're like, wow, you know, I'm so glad we really need you guys on this campus. A study reveals that 41.6% of CSUN students still need to meet basic needs, saying that experiencing food insecurity and homelessness had an impact on their mental and physical health. The organizers here are aiming to reach out to more students in need. But grad student and employee Whitney Gibson is passionate about the program's future. We're hoping that it's going to now uh, roll on to the rest of the um, Cal States, um, or just in general, worldwide, nationwide, <laughs> you name it, anywhere. As long as um, people start realizing that this is something that can help them and we are all here to help and support in the best way. CSUN's exclusive on-campus WIC site could potentially serve as a model for similar projects at college campuses nationwide. Reporting from Northridge, California, I'm Leah Vialpando, Valley View News.